Did you just open your Shopify store's dashboard and got overwhelmed with all the amount of tabs, buttons and options? Or maybe you know your way around it, but you still have a couple of questions. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of your Shopify admin dashboard and try to explain everything inside there so that there will be no stone left unturned. Like any other software, Shopify has a series of areas, some more important than others, depending on what you will be doing on the store. No matter if you plan on only overlooking the sales process or you plan on getting your hands dirty and run the operation yourself, you should know what each of these areas has to offer. The first time you will log into your Shopify store, you will be greeted by a home screen. On the home screen, in the beginning, you will see a checklist of things Shopify wants you to do before publishing your store. This will transform later into a status area where you will see the number of sales and store sessions. Whenever Shopify will have a message for you, you will get a notification underneath that status area. Underneath that, Shopify has listed reading materials meant to educate you in regards to how your store works, the legal side of it, and any other to-dos or best practices meant to help you succeed. This may vary from account to account, and in later stages you will get in the home area a lot of useful information like orders that must be fulfilled, stats about the store, and more. On the left side you will see a sidebar from where you will be able to access all the store settings. As the store is new, we will start from down to up, accessing first of all the settings area. Inside the settings menu we will be presented with all these options. And first we will have the store details. In here you will want to add the address where you are fiscally registered or where your company is if you have one. If you are not sure, add your current address, you will be able to change this later. Then we have plan and billing. In the first you will see the Shopify plan you are currently on, the billing date and the payment method you chose. In billing you will see the payment method and the current subscription you are on. Here you will also see app subscriptions. Users and permissions. Here you can give access to team members to help you with the store, you can give different levels of access and you have a limited amount of spots depending on your subscription. You have here also the collaborators area. In payments you will be able to see the available payment providers in your area. Depending on where you are located, this area will be populated with the approved payment providers such as Shopify Payments, Stripe, PayPal and so on. Next we have the checkout settings. Here we will be able to customize our checkout process, require user accounts to be able to purchase, use email or phone as a customer contact means and so on. Shipping and delivery is where you will add your shipping rules and fees. You will be able to define how much will your store charge for delivery. In taxes you will see your taxation rules, check in with your accountant for more about that. In locations you will have listed all your physical storefronts, warehouses or delivery points. By default your address will become your first location. You will be able to define your gift cards right underneath. Markets is a new feature that will offer international personalized experiences, interchangeable languages and currencies. In sales channels you will see the active sales channels available to you right now and sales channels you could activate as point of sale, buy button, google, facebook and so on. You will be able to link a domain of your choice underneath domains and set it as your store's default. In this case, we could use something like bitsware.com. Next in notifications, we can set up the email automation that the store will send. Whenever an order is placed, the customer will get a confirmation email. You can customize that email notification to say and look as you wish. Like the orders confirmation, there are many other notifications to be customized in here. In MetaFields you can define new properties that products or collections have. You can add custom fields and have them later populated with custom content to further enhance the user experience. Next we have files. All the files you will be uploading to your store will be here to reference. You are able to upload images and videos from here but also inside a theme, but more on that later. In languages you will be able to set the store's language add languages to translate the store to and translate the store's admin. And in policies you will be able to add the policies of your store. Either custom made or generated from a template, you can have them inserted in here so that they can be accessed by your customers. 
And that's it for settings. We have now the store preferences. We have here the settings for the homepage, titles, social sharing options, tracking scripts and the password function. When in trial mode, you won't be able to disable the password page. Then we have navigation. In here we can create menus to be used either in the header or the footer of the store and help users navigate. All the pages of the store will be created from the pages menu, same as all blog articles will be created in the blog post area. In themes you will be seeing your live theme, you will be able to switch between themes and browse the Shopify theme store for either free or paid themes. Shopify has a wide collection of apps to help you enhance the functionality of your store. In apps you will be able to install apps for free or purchase app subscriptions. In the discounts area you will be able to create discount codes and see different stats about them. In marketing, you will be able to connect all your marketing apps and create marketing campaigns. In the analytics area, you will see the store's activity and various metrics and graphs to help you better understand the store's current status. You will also be able to see in here reports and the famous Shopify live view where you can see your customers in real time. All the customers will be stored and displayed in the customers area. All the products will be created and displayed in the products area. You will be able to organize products in categories. You will see the inventory and also be able to create gift cards. The orders of the store will be shown under the orders tab where you will also be seeing the abandoned cards and maybe take action to recover them. And there you have it, this was a brief introduction to your Shopify dashboard. There is more to be said on each of these areas but we will get into those details later. If you are eager to get started, meet me in the next video where I will be covering the general settings area.